Well, this looks promising. Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to our first look at Legendary Hoplite Ajax Trial. The Ajax Trial part means that it's a prologue, a little snippet of the full game that's coming soon. We don't know when, but soon to Steam. Well, if you want to try out this prologue, though, again, the little kind of demo portion of this game, you can try it out on Steam, and uh, it's a just small part of the full game that's uh, kind of a little test or like a little uh, sample of what's to come. Now what's interesting too about this is that prologues on Steam also, for whatever reason, are able to be reviewed. Uh, demos, I think, uh, you know, on Steam don't really have a store page or whatnot. You can go to a games page and then you can click download demo, play it, and then that's a snippet of that game. But prologues are a little different. They have their own uh, section to Steam, and now there's some reviews, and this one seems to be very positive so far, and I've seen some other people really enjoying Legendary Hoplite Ajax Trial, and I thought I'd give it a shot myself. This is your traditional uh, tower defense RPG, quote-unquote, base builder, you're, you know, you're building towers, a tower defense, and so it seems like a lot of fun, a good art style, and of course, uh, some great music, and it seems like it'll be interesting upon release, so let's play now, let's play for free, and let's check it out. Thanks again for subscribing to the channel, don't forget to do that. Turn on the notification bell, smash that like button, and welcome to all of you who are members again. Thank you very much for all your support on the channel, and I hope you're enjoying your day. Let's take our first look now at Legendary Hoplite Ajax Trial. Let's go. Oh. Help! Help! Help us, please! The skeletons have already killed so many villagers. Oh, well, hello. Captain, a stranger is approaching with a weapon in hand. Blow the horn. Prepare for battle. Wow, I'm getting 300 vibes from this already. That's cool. Enemies attack in waves. Oh. We can move around individually. Okay. Oh, I see. We hit... Oh, cool. We're actually throwing a javelin? Oh, neat. So it's not like a passive base defense. It's kind of like... An... Wait a minute. Isn't this like centipede for Atari? I kind of am getting centipede vibes. Gate's HP drops when an enemy passes, you'll lose when it reaches zero, right? So we're uh, defending the gate. So a little base defense there. It's either a city or, well, a village, I guess, in this case. Oh, that's kind of cool. Thankfully, we have unlimited ones of these, right? Oh, actually, look. Lower left corner. I think that's how many... We have, and they replenish? Question mark? Dio. Is that Ronnie James Dio? Uh, more enemies are closing in. We need more men. Phalanxes to arms. Captain, we're ready. Press one to select a troop. Oh, we're going to pl place more? Okay, cool. Oh, this is great. I love it. Skeleton uh, spearmen. That's our enemy type we're fighting. Calling in troop requires combat points. Kills grant you combat points. Blue stuff on the left. Okay. So I need to place more of these guys and take on the ones that they can't. Get down. Nice. And it looks like they took some health too. So these guys are definitely going to be killed in battle eventually. Right. So these, these are our quote-unquote towers then. We're actually sending infantry forward. That's pretty badass. All right, these are now skeleton swordsmen who are quote-unquote no tough. Love the art style, too. This is good vibes, man. Good vibes. Oh, those troops are taking some hits. I wonder if I can assist them. Oh, I can. Cool. I can throw a javelin or a spear over the top of them. I guess this is a spear. Ja are javelins only made of wood? I don't know what the rules are. Seems easier to throw a javelin that far, though, than a spear. Oh my god, there are so many. Captain, they'll break through the, uh, the gates at this rate. We should ring the bell to call reinforcements from the other camps. Our prayers to the gods can help us through this tri uh, tribulation. Oh, Supreme Zeus, we beseech you to save us. Hmm. Why did you go out here? No gods would save us now. Never mind. Hi, Gaia. Young Captain. You do not believe in gods, do you? Who are you? I am Gaia, mother of all things. Zeus, the god who you pray to, is only one of my descendants. By the grace of Gaia. 
Could you tell me more about these things that are invading us? Oh boy. Yeah. Undead skeleton armies? Not, not a good sign. Uh, these skeleton soldiers come from the underworld, the land of Hades. They attack the... Oh, it's a, dude, it's a Hades sequel. Confirmed. Dude, they copied... Dude, these guys just copied Hades. Just kidding. They attack uh, Ithaca for a purpose, and it's just an invasion. Oh, it's not just an invasion. They attacked us. Uh, the attacks will continue and become more and more dangerous each time. It will spread throughout the whole of Ithaca. These are just scouting soldiers. Why, why, why are you helping us? Oh. I love everything on this earth, all equally. I would not get involved in any matter if it uh, followed the laws of nature. These skeleton soldiers don't belong in this world. They broke the laws. Oh, they're under arrest. Okay, so we got to bring them to, into custody for justice. Got it. Uh, so can you help us get through this tribulation? Oh. Well, these beings are from the underworld, Hades citizens, so I will not interfere. But I can, oh yeah, I, I will not interfere. Meanwhile, calls in like an AC-130 strike or like A-10 <laughs> gun runs on the enemy position. Sure, sure, ma'am. Uh, anyway, uh, there are many more waves of monsters coming from Ithaca soon. I've never wielded an enchanted weapon before, so I don't even know what it is. Then I'll teach you. Take this spear as a gift from mm. Earth. Oh, my goodness, thank you for, oh, my goddess, thank you for everything. She's cool. All right, so now we've got the fervid, I couldn't read it. The fervid plumbata of disastrous dude that is freaking sweet back to town let's go oh a little world map or at least a map of ithaca nice so this was chapter one two three i guess we get to do the first three of seven maybe uh the hero has four types of equipment a helmet a sword shield and every equipment has its own skill drag a new item to the current one to replace it okay So equipment has three main parts, base stats, the higher the item level, the stronger the stats, fixes further strength, fill the item which depends on the type of the equipment. Okay, so we basically got some like basic uh, description of what it does, special abilities, and some other information. So this has a fast attack speed, uh, it has one to four physical damage, and uh, we have a non, uh, active non-target ability. Cool. Nice. So as we play more and more, we'll get different types of gear that we can like equip or switch out. And then, yeah, we can uh, also apparently add skills or points. Yeah, skill points. So we have strength, agility, endurance, and leadership. And then we have a chance for critical, critical damage, critical damage chance, stamina gain. Wow, this this has a lot of cool stats. This is this is a little complicated, but not like not too much. Like this is well organized and looks really nice. And I love the uh, font style that they went with there for the numbers. Very cool. That's how you know you're in ancient Egypt. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Wait, actually, um, is there any more? Oh, okay. I thought there'd be more lore about what we're facing. Ah, so let's see. We can explore more areas around Ithaca. Oh, wow. Ne a necropolis. Dude, that's cool. I guess we're going to go here. Uh, episode 2, Impregnable Gate. Oh, so we're still defending the town. Better hurry up and prepare for the next assault. Let's do it. Ah, uh, Ithaca. Cool. I think we get a lot of Roman games. Not a lot of Greek games, though. Or at least, we need more, I should say. We get tons and tons of games that are about ancient Rome. But uh, I think we need more about ancient Greece. City builders and... Uh, well, at least Hades was pretty good. Uh, Q to cast a spear skill. Oh, that's the one we unlocked. Ah, cool. It's a shotgun blast. All right, let's call out the boys. Oh, we don't have enough points. Uh, increases block chance when HP is low. There we go. Those boys cost a hundo for the phalanx. Hero's actions consume stamina. Hero needs... To stand still for four seconds to start recovering stamina faster. Ah, okay, so that's a stamina bar. 
I was assuming it was like our ammo or something. Like I was throwing them that quickly. So, more advanced spears are probably going to cost us a lot more stamina. So that'll be the trade-off for that. And this probably costs 25 stamina. Yeah, okay. So our special ability both has a cooldown in time. And also costs stamina. Let's fill this gap here. Nicely done, boys. All right, we've almost created a beautiful shield wall. Wave four. I like how we're, you know, reinventing games that kind of already exist. Uh, tower defense games, for example, rather than it being a long, you know, like a labyrinth-like type path. This is pretty straightforward, but yet is a lot of fun. A lot of games are very simple on the surface, yet they're just kind of... You, you, you just can't stop playing them. It's like Warfare 1914 or Warfare 1944, where you just can't stop playing them. All right, the sooner you call in the next wave, the more combat points you'll get. Please consider the above, because your hero will not have time to recover stamina. Oh, okay. So we get a little bonus for calling in additional uh, or troops faster. Enemy troops faster. Like intimidating them into attack. Okay, we can call in another group here. Oh boy, breakthrough. I am not ready. There we go. Yeah. No, the gate. That's right. Everybody gets one. Oh, I can just easily hit one to call those in. Cool. I'm not ready. So now they're sending all sorts of undead army creatures at us. We got spearmen, dogs, swordsmen. Eventually we're probably going to see, I don't know, chariots and war elephants. Maybe a mech. That one robotic spider from Wild Wild West. Which was actually a pretty decent movie, I, I think. Dude, this is cool now. We're just basically assisting and holding the line. Get down. Nice. Coin points and some weapons, too. Oh, it has lightning damage. Oh, we're about to meet with Zeus. Cool. Okay. Back to stats. Uh, gain a point to upgrade hero by winning a level. Upgrade your hero to your preference. Hero, uh, reset hero upgrades without losing anything. Cool. It just costs us money. Oh, we have a new troop, Donkey Kong. Is he throwing a barrel? Oh yeah, cool. <laughs> a barrel thrower. All right. Is that is that an actual military tactic to just literally throw barrels? Wow. All right, let's go back and. Hmm. Seems like an upgrade, I guess. Uh, let's upgrade our... Just straight up damage. Give me more damage. Alright, cool. So have they, like, breached the... Like, the city walls? This actually a little bit looks like Zelda, doesn't it? If you've ever played Link to the Past, it kind of does remind me of the top-down map on Super Nintendo... Cool. Hmm. Captain, I just received a report that our southern outpost has been attacked by skeleton soldiers and our troops were at a disadvantage. That area is quite densely populated with citizens. Well, tribulation has begun to spread all over Ithaca. Goddess Gaia was right. Hmm. The situation here is stable for the time being. You'll hold the gate in my steed until there is an order from the hand um Uminus. Now I shall depart to bring news of the goddess Gaia and help the southern outpost cluster. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Have faith in me. You got it. Let's go. Oh, cool. We get troops. Freebies. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That's a lot of them. Can we... Oh, oh the barrel thrower. Yeah! Captain Dio, we're here to help. Oh, you guys are just in time. 
Welcome, Donkey Kong. Oh. Wait. Can they only attack within this range? I guess so. Nice. So it's like an artillery strike. Alright, cool. Let's see if we can double up on troops. Oh, we can. Let's call on the next wave a little early. Two arms! So we could double up on our walls. We can have these really deep shield walls then. And the enemies will be able to chip away at our troops, but... You know, they'll have to get through several, several, several layers of defense. That's cool. It's like a several layers of burrito from Taco Bell. Oh, yes. Oh, is that a bird flying over? That was cool. Game's got cool effects. Oh, yeah, there's a bird. Hey, kitty. Bye. Okay. Oh, yeah, next wave. Sorry, I'm getting distracted. New skill unlocked. Uh, we have fan of daggers and shield throw. Uh oh. Skeleton archers have ranged attacks. It looks like a shield throw is a huge attack. That gives us uh, lots of drain on stamina. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, so that's close range. And then of course that shield throw. I mean the uh, spear throw. Cool. Add some more layers to my burrito. Where's my burrito? Where's my burrito? Ah, <laughs> nice. Now what we need to get is ranged troops that can attack from the rear. Okay, let's add some more defense. I am not ready. Oh, wow. No way. The shield actually bounced between lanes. Uh, that's great. It bounces between all the different lanes and just kind of like just ricochet damage like a pinball. Pong. Oh, that's awesome. Oh, we can only have a max of 400. Well, that's more than the Spartans got. They only had 300. Oh, yeah. They're not breaking through this. New skill unlocked. Haste. Oh, limited to uh, increase movement speed so we can jump between lanes. Oh, I love that. Shield throw is the best ability in the game. It's just so satisfying to hear that clunk. You die now. More enemies inbound. Oh, that's another way. That's kind of weird. In the upper right corner, it'll say, like, send next wave while you're being attacked. I I'm often missing that because I'm in the midst of, like, defending and there's troops coming at me. Oh, a Cyclops. Uh-oh. Devours allies to recover HP. Oh, boy. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, let's save for the barrel thrower. Wait till he gets a little closer. Can I get some barrels, please? Thank you. Help me, friend. Oh, he's stun locked. No oh, not that. Oh, boy. Oh, wow, look at how much damage he's putting down, dude. There we go. Well, luckily our shield troops are able to defend a little bit against arrows. Hence the whole shield. All right, cool. Wow, that was crazy. Dude, I didn't imagine we were going to fight a little boss battle like that. That guy had an astronomical amount of health. Cool. All right, getting some shields, new troops. All right, good times. Back to town. The enemy is attacking with increasing numbers and strength. Captain, I think you should upgrade the army before going to the next battle. 
Yes. Please guide me. New troop. Oh, is that a... Oh, we can actually build stuff. We're building like a palisade wall. Select the troop in which you want to upgrade. Hold left mouse on the upgrade button. You'll get coins back from resetting troop upgrades. Oh, wow. So not only can we upgrade our character, but our army. That's cool. Skilled builders. Nice. Model architecture. Yeah, we're building palisades then. All right. Um, thing about that, though, is that our troops are only melee. They can't throw their spears, so it'll only buy time? Question mark. Looks like we do have archers next, though. So we have, uh, like, spearmen or a shield wall, barrel throwers, palisade, and archers, it appears. But it looks like there's more that will be locked. Looks like cavalry there. So it does look like we'll get way better weapons in the future. Cool. Thank you, Grandpa. Okay, uh, let's see. Episode 4, The Night Siege. I wonder when that when that's taking place. Oh, it's at night. Wow. Free to select a troop. Build walls. Ah, cool. You have no place here. All right. Well, maybe our troops can attack over that wall. Let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. So it gives them additional, like, you know, health, basically. Cool. I thought it would just buy them time before they broke through. But nope. That helps our troops' survivability. So I wonder if we could build, like, a wall, then put troops behind it, and then build another wall, and, you know, keep repeating the process. All right, let's keep adding troops. I like the troops the best. We'll... Maybe we could build a wall in front of them afterwards? Oh, no, they go all the way out. Okay. So you got to build it before they get there. Press Alt to help turn on HP bars. Q. That's a nice little option. I don't think of a reason that you would want that off other than like a sweet screenshot or something because it's going to be pretty important to know when a group of soldiers are about to die so you can reinforce. Get dead, Hades. Oh well. I mean, dead again. Alright, let's build some more walls. And send up the troops. You have no place here! Skeleton Phalanx. High block chance splits into three spearmen when shield breaks. Let's do a wall here and here. Alright. Keep them coming, boys. Holding the line nicely. This would be a perfect game for the Steam Deck, too, by the way. I don't know how many of you... Uh, if you guys have a Steam Deck, please do comment below if you own one or if you'd like to own one. I keep seeing increasing amounts of people coming into the comments and or the chat when we're live on the channel and uh, saying that they want this for Steam Deck or they ask if it's Steam Deck compatible and that's uh, kind of a cool thing to see more and more people uh, playing games that could just be a little bit more comfortable to, you know, play on the couch or on a plane or, you know, at, at a gate or something like that. Um, this game would be just fine for mobile, but I don't know, to bust out a Steam Deck would kind of actually be nice. And this is a damn fine one. Barrels, please. Oh, it hits him with the old stun lock. Nice. Good job, boys. So let me know if you have a Steam Deck or an interest in getting one. I think there are some games where it's just probably not going to work as as well 
like City Skylines, I think I'd rather play that on a regular PC, but a game like this, or maybe a racing game, would be perfect for um, Steam Deck. You have no place here! Nice. I think what we could do is a first line of defense with troops and then start building the walls afterwards. Oh, we can quickly rebuild the walls. We're probably going to be seeing an enemy here shortly. A big enemy. A boss. Boss battle. It's coming our way. Cyclops rock thrower. Great. Oh, boy. I'm going to hold on spending for now. Oh, boy. He's going to be... He's going to be fun. He's out of range from our barrels. Hope the other lines can hold. Yep. Okay. It's not yet. Nice. Got him. Cool. And we get so many weapons and things like that. Damn, dude. They give you so much stuff. Like, what What the hell do I use? I'm, like, panicking because I don't know which one, which one's the best. New troop. Hey, we got our archers now. Dude, those character portraits look fantastic. Cool. Cavalries of the Underworld. Oh, boy. Are they sending on dead horses now? Oh, we're building towers to put them on. All right, that's cool. Oh, well, now we're no longer at the gate. They've broken through to the city. All out mayhem. No, you don't. I'm gonna go with the troops on the outside, then build the palisade. Uh oh, there's rats. Stay away. We're gonna get fleas. Plague and ple a pestilence. We don't need that. Ten waves. Skeleton fire archer. Ranged and tough. And applies burn. Uh-oh. I need tough actin to actin. You have no place here. Another wave on the way. Okay, let's start building our palisades, shall we? Put troops behind those later. Oh. Uh, give me my barrel throwers. Wrong button. Okay, cool. Love that shield throw. Help me, friend. So much going on. Okay. And good. We're 
Random troops coming from everywhere. Oh, great. Death cavalry now. Wonderful. Help me, friend. Uh oh. Nice job. Not now. You have no place here. All right. They're coming through with their attacks. Let's do archers. You have no place here. Cool. Hello, enemy troops. Guys? Hades? Is he retreating? I, th I think we beat him. Oh, well, that was a long time to the next attack. Final wave. Got to be a uh, boss battle in this one. Damn, it's low. Let's hold still. We're going to need this. Uh, I'm going to hold on spending points until we find out where the next big boy is coming in at. Your enemy force? They gotta be coming soon. Ah, there it is. Oh, wow, a shield wall. Oh, oh boy. Shield v. Shield. Uh, let's do more archers. Wow, he's hasting everybody. Hold them back, boys. It's fine. Uh, that could have been uh, a nightmare, but... Oh, now we get catapults? No freaking way. Hell yeah. Well, I gotta say I'm a big fan of all these like free little tests and demos coming to Steam, because with all these Steam games, how the hell are you going to know which ones are really your cup of tea? It's nice to be able to at least get a sample for free, try out something, and maybe just spend a couple of hours goofing around with it before the full game releases. Steam does events all the time, too, by the way, uh, like Next Event, which is a thing that happens pretty much every three months or so. Like, for example, Manor Lords, which you may have seen on the channel, that awesome medieval, like... Uh, 
well, it's like Total War, but also Medieval City Builder at the same time. Or games like Broken Arrow, like a modern RTS taking place like with modern troops and tanks and all that. Uh, all those games that you may have seen before on the channel or other places on YouTube have all been free because of Steam's next events. Now, this isn't a next event thing, but it's always cool to be able to see games that are free and or just samples that everyone can try out. This game here, Legendary Hoplite, Ajax Trial is certainly well put together and it's going to be a lot of fun. I see positive reviews everywhere, everybody having a good time with it, and I think you should try it out too if you want a little something to do for an afternoon or something. It'd be kind of fun. All right. Well, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thanks for dropping by. Let me know what you think of the game down below in the comments section and let me know some of your favorite Total War games or points of classical history, like, for example, uh, I don't know, Rome or uh, Greek battles of. Antithesis is Antiquid Antacos. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> that's all I got time for. Bye.